Okay, what's Terrence up to? Terrence, of course, being a MAGA comedian, um, he hasn't been doing well since Trump lost the election. He's still in denial about it. He's spreading conspiracy theories. Let's see what his recent tweets and videos have been about. Probably being real mad. <sighs> I'm really concerned. I'm concerned about 80 million people who voted for Joe Biden. Why are they quiet? Why are they not excited like we were when President Trump won in 2016? We celebrate for four years. Fishy, right? Or it's because people who voted for Joe Biden often voted because they were voting against Donald Trump with the understanding that they were going to disagree with Joe Biden quite a bit. And Joe Biden's support isn't culty. It's just people who think he's the better choice, but let's see what the video says. I know I'm always asking questions, but I, 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 I'm I just trying to figure something out. I'm really confused. So I'm sitting here wondering, where are all of these 80 million people who voted for Joe? There's one right here. Uh, uh, Baja voted for Biden. Jake voted for Biden. Like everyone I know voted for Biden. Most of them also dislike Biden, but they dislike Trump more. So there's there's the answer to that question, at least anecdotally. But that's all he goes off of anyway, so it's fine. Where are they at? I know I'm always asking that question. But I'm really trying to figure out where all these people are at. I'm kind of concerned. Okay, I'm concerned that 80 million people are silent. I'm really concerned. What do you mean we're silent? We elected the president. We did it. Yay. As it turns out, when you elect a political candidate, well, it's good to stay informed and, and try and, you know, contact your, your, your Congress people when you want things done and all that and have your voice heard. You know, not making your entire identity about that political candidate is usually a healthy thing to do, which is why you don't typically see, like, you know, liberals with big Joe Biden flags on the back of their 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 uh, hybrid cars going down the street because they don't make their entire identity a political candidate. Where I mean, what's going on with these people? Where where are they at? Are y'all not excited? I mean, y'all supposedly have There's a first black and Asian female VP. That yeah, P not my VP. I mean, she's the VP. So, where is the excitement at? I mean, y'all said y'all were so excited about getting rid of Trump and... Yeah, it's good. And then we, we continue to live our lives like normal human beings? I don't know what you... Do you are we supposed to come out every day for a block party and be like, Yay! liberal li liberal policies that are probably gonna still help rich people but at least it's not fascism no we got trump out and we'll continue to make incremental progress what, what do you what do you want and electing joe biden but i don't see y'all i don't hear from y'all where y'all at people went out and like first of all there's a pandemic on which people on the left actually recognize as real because we listen to scientists so most people aren't going to go out and do stuff, but even so, there were people on, like, election day or the day that the election results got announced where people were like, yay, going outside and partying and shit. That was a thing. We all saw it. <laughs> I mean, I remember a time when Trump won in 2016. We were celebrating for days, weeks, and months for years. I mean... Yeah, you guys turned it into your entire identity. It was really cringe. <laughs> we went out and bought hats and t-shirts. I still got- Yeah, it's pathetic. That's not healthy. Do you not see that that's not healthy? I got my hat on. I ain't never taken off my hat. I mean, we celebrated for four years straight. I mean, <laughs> we showed our support. We showed the world that we were happy about the man we elected. Why are y'all not happy about Joe? I'm currently fine. I'm not happy with everything Joe Biden's done so far, but the bulk of it I'm fine with. He's reversed a bunch of shitty Trump executive orders. He he got rid of the trans military ban. He rejoined the Paris Climate Accord. They need to get that fucking stimulus bill out the door like ASAP.
and he deserves criticism for that and like being like oh it's 1400 and whatever but other than that it's been fine it's been fine so far it's been nice taking a little time off from constantly worrying about politics don't get me wrong i do i'm still engaged with it but i'm less viscerally scared every day than i was under trump so that's nice i know what it is Y'all messed up. <laughs> Y'all are embarrassed. Y'all know you- Oh, no, not at all. I'm incredibly happy I voted for Joe Biden and got rid of Trump. Holy shit. <laughs> are you kidding me? Y'all made a mistake. That's what it is. Yeah, I know what it is. Uh-huh. Joe is messing up everything for you. Joe lied to you. And y'all see that Joe Biden is a liar. Yeah. Uh-huh, and people losing their jobs now. Oh, yeah. People been losing their jobs all year, dipshit. <laughs> Trump completely bungled the, the COVID response and destroyed the economy. Did you only start counting the jobs that were lost after noon on January 20th and before that you just completely ignored it? Yeah, now y'all really see you on the wrong side. So that's why y'all... Oh, no, 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 no. Definitely not. <laughs> because I, I just don't understand. I mean, well, I mean, y'all show sure a running y'all's mouth, you know, on election day and before election day. Yeah, because it's funny, and now it's just old. Like even I, who've been doing tons of those manga cope videos. I stopped doing the manga cope videos unless something big happens. This is kind of that, but I'm more interested in Terrence Williams as an individual as opposed to just the entire idea of manga cope. Because, you know, we, we've had our fill. It's It's been a, a bit since Biden won the election. <laughs> we're we're kind of over it. But all of a sudden, everybody want to be quiet like they're at the library. Hmm. Library. <laughs> that's the whole video okay i miss my president donald trump is the people's champ i didn't have millions of dollars i wasn't a big donor but he didn't care he treated me like a human he's all about the people they wanted him to take a presidential picture but he said no let's take a cool picture ah <laughs> uh... Liberals are claiming that 80 million people who supposedly voted for Joe Biden are not all following him on social and not talking highly about him because they like to keep their personal political opinions to themselves. I don't believe it. Who's with me? I don't even know if I'm following Biden on Twitter. I might be, but like, do you understand that you shouldn't feel the need to be following the president's tweets every day for fear that he's going to say some awful shit? Again, it's not a cult like the Trump thing is. <sighs> Here's another one. The vaccination centers when they get stood up across the country. Does the White House support that request? Uh, I did ask our team about this. You or someone else may have asked about this the other day. And I think I have something on it here. One moment. Uh, <clears throat> Thanks for your patience. Lots to say about COVID. No doubt. Girl! Um, Wait, am I supposed to be upset that she's doing due diligence and actually has notes on information put together? And that she's, like, looking for it? Like, no, she's like... Have you seen some of these press briefings, by the way? I've watched a, a couple of them. They're so day and night, and I love them because they're so boring and procedural. I love it. Um, so she's doing her due diligence here and being like, oh yeah, I had some information on that. Sorry, let me, let me look through my binder of information because she's good at her job. And Terrence is like, Psh, she didn't rattle off a bullshit opinion like, like Trump's press secretaries. Sean Spicer would have just made up some nonsense on the spot. Why is she out here trying to actually find information for the answer? <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, let's see. Let me, let me, let me um, talk to our team about it. Really? Yeah, that's fine. If you don't know an answer to a question, 
you should talk to the team about it, get the correct answer, and then come back and be able to answer that question later. That's how, that's how administrative politics works. Talking to the press shouldn't involve just making shit up on the spot. It should involve getting accurate information to them when they ask a question. And if you don't have that information at the time, saying, I don't know, I'll get back to you, I apologize. That's completely reasonable. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is what y'all voted for? These people? Yes. Unironically, yes. I don't know what the hell they doing. Oh my goodness. So, this is Miss I'ma circle back. They circle back and you still don't got nothing to say? You still don't got an answer? Okay. She'll probably go find the answer and be able to answer it at either the next press briefing or whenever. It's fine. That's fine. So this is what y'all wanted in the White House. This is what y'all wanted. Yes. Oh Yes, unironically, yes. My goodness. Y'all, we doomed. We are straight up doomed. What in the hell is going on in this corrupt administration? This is what I want to know. How in the... You mean to tell me 80 million people voted for this? 80 million people voted to not have Trump as the next president. Some of them certainly voted for Biden. Absolutely. A lot of them, myself included, voted to make Trump not the president anymore. Come on now. You mean to tell I know good and well 80 million people did not vote for this. Come on. Okay, you probably should have checked your notes there, Terrence, because you're now giving an inaccurate answer. Let's look. Let me check my notes. Hmm. Uh, no. In fact, uh, Joe Biden won the presidency. Look at that. Huh. See, checking your notes can be helpful. It can make sure you don't just spout bullshit like Terrence or the previous press secretaries under Trump. Come on now. 80 million. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Believe what you want to believe. <laughs> believe what you want to believe. It's all right. <laughs> you know, oh yeah, I still got my hat on. I ain't never taking my hat off. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. Who wants to, who, what, what do you guys think? When is, hold on. Okay, we're going to do a poll real quick. When will Terrence funny about the tools of take the hat off? Here's a poll on when do you guys think Terrence will actually take the hat off and stop trying to do the MAGA thing? Um, and the, the options are in the next three months, in the next six months, in a year, five years, or never. <laughs> so vote in this poll and we'll determine how long will Terrence be doing this grift. Or at least doing the grift in the hat. <sighs> no, no, no. Oh, no, I like my little red crispy hat. Mm -hmm. Well, it ain't too crispy because I've been wearing it. I've been wearing it every single day because, you know, I love my hat so much. Wash your hat, yes, Terrence. Buy me a new one. Mm -hmm. The poll is up and people are voting on it. So if you can't see it, maybe refresh. You might be able to get it. Joe Obama is not my president, and then it's Joe Biden and Barack Obama melded together into one person, which is kind of horrifying. Can somebody please explain something to me? 
if President Trump is out of office, if he's no longer in the White House, if y'all are saying President Trump is no longer your president, then why are y'all so obsessed with him? Why are y'all still talking about him? Because it was devastating. Because his administration was devastating to so many people in the United States and the world. Look, I haven't... I can honestly tell you, I don't want to hear from Donald Trump another day in my life. I haven't in, I haven't seeked out, like, what is Donald Trump doing since he left office. I do not care. I don't want to hear about Donald Trump, what he is currently doing for the rest of my life. I just don't. I hate the guy. However, we're dealing with the fallout of his presidency, and we're also dealing with people who've been radicalized, like Terrence, which is still a current threat. So, we look at this stuff. But no, I'm not obsessed with Trump. I'm obsessed with having a functioning country. And we can't have, no, can't have a functioning country where 30 to 40% of the populace have been radicalized. <laughs> it's not good. Let's see what the poll is at. Three months has 13%. I'll, I'll go in order of which one's winning. Uh, the current winner at 28% of the vote is never. He's never taking the hat off. Um, in six months is the second, um, one year at number three, uh, five years at number four and three months at number five. So a lot of people seem to think he's never going to take it off, but other people think in about six months, which sounds about right to me. It could really be either. It's either going to be in about six months. He'll realize this is poison to his, to his brand and it is embarrassing or, He's going to figure out, no, I'm going to keep on forever because there's always sort of a cult fan base that's going to be there that's consistent, if not super large. <sighs> if y'all don't care about Trump, if Joe Biden is your president, why are y'all so worried about President Trump and what he doing and what he got going on? I'm not. I'm really not until and unless he starts like a Patriot Party, which would be hilarious because it would split the, the right wing vote. I don't care. I do not care what Trump is doing. And I don't know what Trump has been doing since the 20th. Why are y'all still trying to impeach him? For what? If oh, you're talking president... about that. Oh, because of the crimes he committed. Because of the crimes. Because of the crimes. Why do y'all want him impeached? I never in my life heard of somebody impeaching someone who's not the president. So ever Okay. Cool. Did you know new things can happen? That's fun. Evidently Trump is still your president because y'all could because y'all trying to impeach him. It don't make no sense to me. Something ain't adding up. Something is not adding up at all. Y'all so obsessed with him. Y'all just can't stop thinking about Trump. <laughs> That's what it is. Terrence, um, your entire identity and brand is based around this man. So maybe, maybe look at a mirror and reconsider before you want to start criticizing people for caring about Trump. Which again, I don't. I'm sure a lot of people in the media probably do because I imagine their ratings have been really high over the past four years as people have been doom watching because of the ridiculous Trump administration. But I don't care. You can't stop thinking about Trump. Y'all say y'all hate Trump, but y'all really love him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Y'all say y'all can't stand him, but y'all really can't live without him. No, I will live much happier when, when I no longer have to hear that name ever again, which is unfortunate. I'm sure the name's going to come up. A lot in the future. But yeah, I don't, I don't care what Trump does as an individual. As a private individual, whatever. Just fuck off. I'm glad his Twitter got banned. I hope he doesn't go somewhere else so I don't have to hear from him. Y'all love Trump. The liberals love Trump. CNN love Trump. The Democrats love Trump. Because y'all can't stop thinking about him. Leave him alone. If he's not your president. Evidently, he is. Evidently, he is. It just don't make no sense. If you want to impeach somebody, impeach Sleepy Joe. <laughs> the way he worded this is so funny. I face discrimination every day because I don't support the former VP Joe Biden and former Senator Kamala Harris. Why is she a former Senator, Terrence? Where is she now? 
Why is she a former senator? What did she resign her, her Senate position for? He's trying so hard not to call them the president and vice president. <laughs> oh, God. And by the way, this is terrible. He tweeted this ignorant bullshit where he's like, where he says, quote, Dear black women, please stop saying your VP looks like you. Kamala Harris, or Ka Kamala Harris, rather, is not black. Her parents are from India. And then it's a picture of her in sort of traditional Indian garb. Um, for those who don't know, uh, she, she's biracial. One of her parents is uh, from India and the other is black. So Terrence just being a huge idiot <laughs> on that one. <sighs> anyway, I, I don't think there's anything more about this. Do you have anything else? We did not vote for this man. You didn't. 80 million people did, though. <sighs> Donald Trump is my president for life. That's, like, really sad. That's not a president if they're president for life. Seriously, y'all gots to be stupid. If one more person say Joe Biden is fighting for racial equality... Are you serious? No, I'm asking a question here. Are you serious? This man, racial equality, first of all, let me tell you what racial equality is, okay? We had a black president. That's what you call racial equality. He's fighting. And right-wingers definitely weren't racist about Obama for eight years. I definitely didn't see... I can't even describe to you some of the posts I saw about Obama during those eight years. For racial equality? Come on now. This ain't the 1960s. We not living in the 1800s. Ain't none of y'all picking cotton right now. You can go in a restaurant right now and sit next to a white person. You can go to work right now and work with a white person. Your desk can be right by theirs. Black people out here making more money than white people. <laughs> As a whole? No. No, no, they're not. Do you know what the statistics on the, the income gap between, like, white people and black people is? It's even larger if you take gender into account. In a lot of jobs. Look at Oprah. <laughs> That's my favorite argument when people are like that. Look at Oprah. This one example... Out of millions, hundreds of millions of people, look at Oprah. Yeah, Oprah. There's one. <laughs> That's racial equality right there. Joe Biden ain't about to fix nothing. He can't fix racial equality because there ain't nothing to fix. <laughs> Y'all got to be stupid to believe this man. He is pandering. He chose Kamala for the black vote. He did that so that he could try to prove that he's not racist because we all caught him in the act. You know what happened? Um, this is the weird, I think this is probably when I started to like know that I wouldn't be able to like talk to my dad anymore. He's a, he's a Republican and a Republican. He is a Trump supporter, all that shit. And one time he sent me a video of Obama and was trying to convince me. It was some video of Obama, I think, on Air Force One. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was after he was... I, I don't know. It, it, was, it, was, it was at the end of his presidency. It was probably on Air Force One. And it was video of him on the, the plane with some journalists and he was cracking a joke or something. He was, you know, being Obama. And he was leaning on a chair or something. And my dad sent me a video and was trying to convince me that Obama, I and I'm not kidding, I'm not making this up, he, he was trying to convince me that in this video, Obama had a boner, and that this boner was somehow, like, disgusting, and that he should be ashamed of himself for having a boner. Which, there's so many things to address here. First of all, I looked at this video, Obama did not have a boner in this video. <laughs> Second of all, 
Even if he did, why would it matter? <laughs> so now I'm just imagining my dad obsessively looking at a video and trying to see Obama's dick. And I... So that's that's my dad. I don't talk I haven't talked to my dad in years. Are you starting to see why? Are you starting to see maybe why I'm very interested in looking at people like Terrence K. Williams and Chud Grifters who pull people into this weird, obsessive, like like cult like uh uh, uh sometimes conspiratorial worlds. <laughs> it affects people's lives. Hashtag O Boner <laughs> Oh, uh, we remember when he was in your chat. Yeah, I remember that. Tragic backstory. <laughs> Obviously, that's not the only thing my dad did and said, but I think it's indicative of a lot of his thought process in regard to politics. You know, he 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 clam he clamps on to like people like this. I don't know if he knows about Terrence Williams specifically. But he clamps on to weird right-wing grifter conspiracy people. He started with the likes of Rush Limbaugh and stuff, but he's moved on to other sources now. And it's unhealthy. It's really, really bad. And he ended up saying a lot of really bad stuff about trans people prior to me coming out, which, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the Otaku X says... You once mentioned your dad referring to your transition as though it was a personal attack on him. We get why you're not his biggest fan. True. Um, yeah, when I was still talking to my mom, who I don't talk to now anymore either, because she was she was going to leave him. She's tried to leave him many times over my life, and she goes back to him constantly. Anyway, she went back to him, and I'm, I'm, I'm not dealing with her. Um, <laughs> but anyway... Uh, Oh, God, I lost my train of thought. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. She mentioned my name to him at one point because he, I, I never, I wasn't even talking to him at this point, but I did come out as trans, and this was after I had chosen a name, Hannah, and she she was talking about me to him, I guess, and, you know, used the name Hannah, and he, she told me about this too, and he said, don't do that to me. Don't use that name. Like, it's like a physical attack on him to properly gender and name me. It's ridiculous. He's an asshole. But, yeah, that's that's what people like Terrence do to people. I'm sure my dad already had a lot of problems, but, like, people like Terrence push these people and radicalize them and make them think that, you know, the only people that exist and are worth listening to are people on the right who believe these things and promote conspiracy theories, and it's very, very unhealthy. So, anyway. <laughs>